The best part about this war is I control what, what will one day be the Suez. This little land bridge, my people can cross over it, even though the, they control Gibraltar. Apparently, we're dominating the naval battles. Well, they have to sail all the way around Africa. We can just, we can take the shortcut. It gives us the advantage when now fighting in the British homeland. I've landed all over the British Isles, and this time, my allies should not abandon me. Hopefully, we can finally take down the British. Take them down a peg or two, so they're no longer the stop in GP. Play rivalry? Ah, the cordial relations currently. How we have cordial relations after we just absolutely devastated them in a war? I do not know. But honestly, I don't care. Oh my goodness, the East Indies just exploded. No, it does make sense. After I uh, took them off the British, that they would do something like that. Turns out when you don't have a giant overlord telling you exactly what to do, you want to separate as typical countries do, into cultural groups and uh, social groups. Into a protectorate. Like a worthwhile thing to do. Of course, going to say no. We're going to say, uh, using firearms, are you sure about that? We just have to run them out of manpower. I'll do it eventually. I mean, if it takes every single Turk in our bloody war nation, we will run them out of manpower. Oh, we have an unacceptable government. I mean, there's nothing we can do to fix that. We've criminalized being poor. Don't remember why or how we did that. But the game seems to think it, and so do our people, so... I guess that's something I need to look into. And Bay, are you not gonna defend yourself? There they go. I had to realize that people were getting, uh, plinked before they decided, you know what, maybe it's a good idea that we actually defend ourselves from our- these invaders. Might be smart, but no, no. Couldn't do it easily, they had to do it the hard way. Just stupid. Why the heck are you over there? I get that we're allied with France and we had a war with America not too long ago, but you'd think you'd rather be stationed at home instead of... Well, I guess these, uh, uh islands are not bad. Maybe they like to the nice vacation. Who am I to judge? Either way, the situation is fixing itself. And we'll remember to get you home for the next battles. Admittedly, it is completely our fault France has fallen onto hard times. Because we keep requesting they bankroll us over basically nothing wars, uh, their economy is in the tanks and they've gone into debt multiple times. And because of that, we keep allowing us to take land off them to help fund their future wars. It's just all around, not a good thing. I mean, maybe we're not the best ally after all. Give us Gibraltar, Malta, or a bankroll. I do love me a Gibraltar. That would allow us to control the entire Mediterranean. Though that's not exactly how that works. So I'll ask for the bankroll. If it was real life, I would totally ask for Gibraltar just because if we would then control the Suez and Gibraltar, so we'd control the entire Mediterranean. But in this case, because they can just walk past it no matter what, money is better. God! Odds were not that high! <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not a bunch of stalls in a row, but... It's been a failure every single event for, like, six or seven in a row. And it's been f about 50-50 odds every time. I'm just me and coin flips, we never get along. Really need to finish this war. I think the problem is because they don't have boats, they can't. And neither of them have boats, so they can't invade each other. You think they might just walk around, ask nicely, swim even? It, it, I mean, not that far. It's sw it's technically swimmable. Think about it out of some like a raft even. You send one guy over, and you might be able to conquer the territory and win control of the nation. I feel like it's probably worth doing some experimenting. Shouldn't be long now. There's not much of their of their defense left. Turns out when you attack a country with numerically similar technology, but they outnumber you two to one, 
Not the greatest, especially when they have allies they can call from all over the world. I finally become Turkey. A little bit more than Turkey here, but we're no longer considered an empire. Instead, we're considered poultry, which I guess is a step up in the world. We're going to arrive and then even make it to the front lines before the battle is over. This is why I don't like sending my troops in when I think it's going to be one-sided like that. Just no reason to. They're going to have to travel all the way back and just traveling through that part of Africa. Not particularly pleasant during this time period because it's hot. No cars. It's... Ugh. A regime change in Belgium will probably get the British involved. They're allied. Darn it. We have defensive packs with Italy. Italy has one with more people, though. Russia, I need you to be a more likable uh, country because I need you to be friends with somebody so I can attack your friends and then you get involved and then I pull in all of my guys in. It's just a whole bunch of nonsense to effectively say, let me do what I want. Okay, we're back to being positive with our ports. We're back to making a stupid amount of money again. I think something's happening here that someone's not counting. Either they're missing a zero, a digit when they're doing some math. Uh, they're missing our military spending. There's all sorts of things that it could be. But for whatever reason, we shoot up from making negative 40,000 to 400,000 in the positive. But something's gone wrong somewhere, but I'm going to accept it for the few months we have it. You know, that's what you get this game for being our ally. Turns out every single ally we've helped out continuously in wars has ended up in default because they keep giving us more and more and more and I demand more and more and more for the, my aid. We are... rather expensive allies, to say the least. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to follow links down below if you want to see some of my content, and I will see you all next time.